Hey folks, today I want to show how you can multiply worms. And first I'm going to show you what I did, and it's not really a good idea to do. I found out, it's, I mean, other than the fact that it's just kind of messy, but I took this tub here, and I set it on top of this tub. This is horse manure with bedding. And you wet it down real good. Uh, red worms love this stuff. I'm gonna try to see if I can show you where I pulled out. There's all kind of cocoons even down in here where they lay cocoons all over the place. If you look right here, there's just two just laying there. I mean, there's one there. They're all over the place in here. When you just raise it up, but the problem is that muck will stick to the bottom of the pan. What I want to show you is when you're trying to multiply worms, so like if you want to sell them, and you can even use this and sell it as what you call habitat. And uh, just give them a whole section of one of these bins has the worm, the cocoon, the bed, and everything in it. And what I'm gonna try to show you, I don't know if I can do it real close, but whenever you harvest one of these tubs like this, what I do to split it and then put it in another tub, I'll, I'll do these in half tubs. I'll, I'll put manure back on this side again. But what I do is I'll make an imaginary line down the middle of this thing. Then I'll pull out one side of it and put it in another tub, fill it in. These worms just keep multiplying like crazy. And then you keep multiplying your tubs, say like from 6 to 12, 12 to 24, and so on. And they just keep on building up. And then these tubs keep them a little wet. And I always I try to lean them at a 5 degree angle so the uh, moisture will stay in the end of the tub. And I'm going to try to show you what it looks like when some of the worms are down in here. I'm going to try to pull out and show you how they're breeding. You look all in there, there's all kind of babies down in the muck. Find another. Let's see this little wet side here. The water will go down to one end of it, so. Maybe look, there's just all kind of different sized babies in there. Like I say, this in that corner, that corner. all different kind of worms and you could even if you kept them flat I imagine you could split them into fours but I don't do that I'm gonna show you this little mucky one here it'll be the same way there's all kind of babies in here it's just this right here when, when you set that tub on there it mats down so it makes messy here's even cocoons there let's see what I got going on underneath there and you can see even this line of bedding here they just love this stuff and they'll get right on the edge of it hard to tell but there's even like you see all these little baby worms all over the place a bunch of babies there it's like the three just right there but they just love this mucky stuff Look, that's a real dark red worm. It's hard to show up on my camera, though. But anyway, I just thought to show you how I do it. And like I say, you just take these. Even this one here, you can split it in four. You had somebody that wanted to start. You can sell them a corner this thing, and they'll have quite a bit of red worms. And you just keep a track. You can just kind of check on it, see how much you got in that bin as you've been splitting it. If you want more worms, you just let it sit longer, and you're in shape. Anyway, that's it for now.